Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with Dee. Today we're going to be making this card holder and it features the Candy Lane Christmas Designer Series Paper and the Cookie Cutter Christmas Bundle from Stampin' Up! Let's get started making this gift card holder. So for the gift card holder that we're doing today, I'm going to start with a piece of real red cardstock and this is cut at five and a quarter by four and it's scored at one half inch, two and seven eighths, and then you turn it and score it at a half inch. And I've done that already here with the real red. With our paper snips, we want to go ahead and remove these bottom corner pieces here as shown on the template that I made. I just thought the white would show up a little better. Um, I do already have my um, piece of real red cardstock scored. And so coming in from the bottom where this is scored at a half an inch, I'm going to trim up to where the score lines intersect. And we'll just trim that off. I'll just kind of, sometimes I go ahead and fold it just so that I can see where the score line is at. So I'm going to take that out and then notch out this little square here in the corner. And these sections here are going to be our tabs that are going to fold, um, fold in. And so um, like a tip with any time you do tabs is to just go ahead and kind of miter the corners a little bit. Just take a little bit off of each end. It just helps um, kind of hide the tabs a little better and for it to line up. Okay, so we've got the card base. I do want to go ahead and get a nice crisp fold line on those and you can also like this is where it's going to fold together like this this tab's going to be tucked on the inside but you can also kind of take your bone folder and kind of straighten up some of those lines if you'd like okay so let's just bring in the sample here real quick um, we want to take a one inch circle punch and we're going to notch out the top of this on both sides. That just makes the gift card come out a little easier. And what we're going to do is take our one inch circle punch and we're going to just kind of eyeball the center of each of these panels, what will be the top part of the panels, and take a bite. And so that these line up perfectly, what I want to do is I'm going to close it and then line up where I've punched and punched again and punch again. And the reason for doing it this way is that cardstock, it's kind of hard to punch out more than one layer at a time without you know, possibly damaging your punch. So next we're going to need two panel pieces to go on the outside of our gift card holder. These are from Candy Lane Christmas and these are cut at two and one fourth by three and a fourth. And you're going to need two of these. We are going to mat these onto the um, the gift card holder and as you see here we are going to take a bite out of that as well so when I put the glue on and I'm using multi-purpose glue what I'm going to do is um, do my best not to put adhesive up around where that um, hole punch or circle punch is going to come into play okay so on the back side of these going to go ahead and again just put kind of a thin bead of glue and there we go and now I'm going to flip these over and put these on our panels this of course will be the front side of it so I'm going to try to mat it here there we go and take our second one and do the other side of it as well. Okay, now I'm going to turn these over and hey, I did it, woohoo! <laughs> I didn't get any glue on where I want to bring the circle punch back. And again, lining it up where we already have those punched. Take another little bite, that one didn't go through all the way. Didn't press down hard enough on it. There we go. And then the same thing on that. Excellent. Now we've got our little notches made out of the top of our gift card holder. 
So now it's time to simply fold up the flaps that we have on it for our tabs. And so I'm going to be using Fast Fuse. So get that down. And I'm going to line up the edge. Give that a nice big smooth. Now this one's going to be just a tad bit tricky where, and what you can do is leave, and what I should have done is leave the bottom part of the backside unglued and then tuck this up underneath like I did on this one. Um, I'm afraid that at too much time I've set up on that, so I'm going to try something here. I'm going to put some fast fuse on that and see if I can't tuck this in. Oh yeah, we can so do this. Perfect. So now we have our little gift card holder. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so if you want to, you can test out your gift card holder now. And it should slide in there. Perfect. This is a piece of Whisper White, and this is cut at three and a half by two and a fourth. And I'm going to round the edges of this. This could be our little insert um, that we can put in it to actually hold the gift card if we wanted to do that, which I kind of like that look. And I'm using the punch board, or the envelope punch board, the back side of it for the corner rounders to kind of give that, um, I like a little elevated look to rounding the corners. So we want to go ahead and tuck our insert in because depending on where you actually ended up cutting your one inch semicircle out of there, um, it may, you know, your center or your place where your tab is may change just a little bit. But basically it's about in the center. And I've got a about a two and a half or three inch piece of real red stitched ribbon from the 2016 holiday catalog and the handheld stapler and staple that into place. Perfect. And then if you want, you can put a little glue dot on the back of your gift card to kind of keep it in place. And then you can tuck that in. Um, another idea on how to do this is you can also stamp a sentiment here. And then on the back side, you can cover up the, you know, the, the back side of the staple that we did too. And again, you can have your little to and from on there and put that in, but yet the gift cards on the back. Okay, let's decorate the front of our gift card holder now. With our fast fuse, I'm going to put a little bit in the center of the gift card. And this is Candy Lane Baker's Twine. You can use, it comes with this multi-strand um, of the white and the red little sparkly Baker's Twine, as well as a real red. I'm just gonna use this one here and wrap it several times and then with our paper snips snip off a little bit of it and bring that tail of the one here on the center and then again we'll snip off just a little bit extra and then that'll just add a little something for our Santa or reindeer to um, be behind it. So the samples I used, I used on the cookie cutter Christmas bundle, the stamp set we use the reindeer and the little Santa, and the bundle comes with the cookie cutter builder punch as well. You can purchase these separately, or you can save 10% by buying them together. And I'm using, again, the Santa image for this. So I've got, and it comes as a photopolymer stamp set. I'm using archival black ink. And I'm going to ink up our little Santa man on a piece of scrap Whisper White. And get him all stamped up. And using the crumb cake or the real red and crumb cake marker set, again, that you can buy those two markers in the holiday catalog, we're going to color Santa. So I'm just going to color a few of his um, things together with you here. 
Again, here's my template so that you can see how I did him from all the start to finish. We'll just color a little bit together. So I'm going to use the real red marker and do, you know, his the body of his suit and his hat. And a tip is, is that it is easier to color and then punch. At least I found it that way. And then for the crumb cake, I'm going to come in here and color in his gloves, his boot, and his belt. And I'll just repeat and do that on his other half off camera. To um, add a little color to Santa's face, I'm using Blushing Bride Stampin' Right marker. And that can be purchased with, within the Subtles collection. Alrighty, so Jolly Santa is coming together here. Oops, and uh, so now it's time to punch him out. So I'll just... Feed him in to the cookie cutter or the cookie builder punch. Line him up and punch him out. And I do want to add some glitter to him. And so I'm using Dazzling Diamonds glitter. And to add that, I need my two way or my. Um, you can use your two-way glue pen if you still have it. If you've run out of it since that's been retired, you can use your fine tip glue pen as well. There's Santa. Now obviously you don't want to add glitter and then punch because then your um, you know your punch is going to get all yucked up here. But I'm going to take my fine tip glue pen and kind of just add a little dot and then I'm kind of smearing it around a little bit and I'm putting it on his beard on the top part of his hat the cuff basically just every other part of the image that doesn't have um, a marker color to it and then we'll get him picked up kind of scoot him off the table here a little bit there we go try not to touch the glue and I dump my glitter in a bowl and that way I just can pick up a part of it when I need it and all set. So pretty. Look how he just is shimmering. I love him. I love him. And then with the Stampin' Dimensional we can just add him to the front. Alright, so that's a gift card holder that can utilize your Candy Lane Christmas paper, designer series paper and your cookie cutter Christmas stamp set bundle that comes with the punch. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye bye.